It's a trap. What is up guys, Alp27HD here bringing you another team of the season player review. This guy is what I am officially titling the surprise package of team of the season. It is Ruben Castro and he is in the BBVA and he really, really surprised me. I was not expecting much from him. He was cheap, he was affordable and he is something else. 86 pace, 82 dribbling, 80 shot. 64 passing, 70 heading, 40 defence, not really interested in that. So not the greatest stats, guys. Only 82 rated. As you will be aware, there aren't that many top-notch Spanish strikers. You've got Torres, you've got Soldado. I was tempted to put Soldado into the team you'll see coming up in a few minutes that um, this guy drops into. And he just popped out. People said, check him out, try him out. He was a good fit into your team when I put the team up on uh, Twitter. And I thought, yeah, let's give him a go. 65k I paid for him. Um, sold him for 70k. Three-star skills, three-star weak foot. We'll drop him in there in a 4-3-3 formation in the striker role. And let's have a look at the team we're playing him in. We've got Informed David Villa, we've got Team of the Season Vela, Team of the Season Arteta, Fabregas Ramirez, Ashley Cole, David Luis, Piquet, um, Cicinho and Diego Alves. Yes, I know they're all high attacking work rate on the defenders. It is what it is. They seem to perform pretty well and we have scored a lot of goals. So what is it about this guy that makes him stand out and makes him so different? First and foremost, he is very pacey, guys. I'll show you his in-game stats when they come up. Obviously, nine came across the board for this team, even though Cole is out of formation. Um, uh, you need good people around him. He is the kind of player that will make devastating runs. He always seems to be in the right place at the right time, which I found absolutely wonderful, guys. I never had to look for him. I never had to search for him. Let's have a look at his in-game stats. Not massive stats. 90 on the finishing is tight. You got 84 on the dribbling, 83 on the ball control, 80 on the long shots. So nothing really screaming at you, amazing player. The 90 finishing is nice. Obviously, decent long shots on there, decent penalties, decent shot power. They're your main things, guys. Your shot power, your finishing, your long shots that kind of thing is what makes the difference. And this is just looking at finishing, ball control and shot power. You'll see a lot of goals from that kind of position because this guy does not score spectacular goals, but he wins you matches every step of the way. These are the kind of goals, the shot power and the finishing combining. Once again, he makes those runs, guys, those little runs, takes control and that is the shot power, that is the finishing coming into play. These are the kind of goals that you want from a striker, you know, you don't, I'm sure Chelsea would rather that Torres scored 100 goals like this than scored two or three flashy goals, and once again, just a beautiful, powerful shot, taking it away from the keeper, he is one of those players that really came out of left field for me, I thought I'd review him, I've reviewed some strikers around the, between 79 and 83, 84 in the past, uh, a little poacher as well, do you see that, just nicks the ball off him, and none of them have performed particularly well, this guy, look at that, just dims it, look at it, still bouncing the ball, <laughs> and just takes complete control, and just does massive, massive damage guys, so they are his uh, shooting stats, that kind of thing, Medium attacking work rate, low defensive. We'd like high attacking, obviously, to make him the perfect work rate striker. But it didn't seem to affect him at all for me. He was always in the right position. And look at those stats. 89 acceleration, 99 reactions, 87 balance, 86 on the sprint speed. Just fantastic. And attacking position, as I've reiterated, 85 there. You're looking at pace, reactions, and agility. Watch how he controls it. Just takes it away and effortless finishing there obviously the finishing is important but this is mainly looking at how he gets away from people and when he puts the afterburners on there are very few defenders that can keep up with him and with the agility and the reactions guys he is able to basically uh, find space and maneuver out the way and the oh, lucky little deflection on that one it's the reactions and the agility that combat the lack of strength. What you'll find is very few players have strength and agility and ball control. And this guy makes up for the lack in strength with that agility so he isn't easily knocked off the ball. And he just seems that little bit of control just 
touches it down and the net is open it's just so easy and effortless lovely little cross by Villa on his weak foot his two star weak foot mind I say so 86 on the pace 82 on the dribbling 80 on the shot let's have a look at his standout stats and his pros very very quick player very quick, excellent finishing, very cheap at 60, 70k for a team of the season player, especially an attacking team of the season player, and great positioning, guys. Despite the medium attacking work rate, he always seemed to be in the right place at the right time for me. What lets him down? This is really picking on him, guys, because no high attacking work rate. It would improve him, but it, it's just nitpicking. Three-star skills, three-star weak foot. Once again, we're nitpicking. We're trying to find holes. We're trying to find some sort of weakness because he pretty much doesn't have any um we're giving him a nine out of ten guys if he had the four star skills it would give him a bit more option if he had a four star or a five star weak foot it would give him more finishing options if he had a high attacking work rate he would be able to you know force forward he maybe drops back a tiny bit but as i've said he has great positioning guys so i can't fault the guy nine out of ten and for the money he is possibly one of the best strikers i've used pound for pound dollar coin for um for what he is capable of and what he gives you on the pitch so that is it guys hopefully you enjoyed the review please like sub comment take care peace love and catch you later